Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. Today is time for another news roundup and we're going to take a look at what is coming up within the next sort of month or so just overall, beginning with the most distant thing. We have the anniversary event, which should actually start in just about a month from now on that Tuesday of the anniversary week of Overwatch. I'm not going to talk about this too much at all. I just wanted to mention it because it's actually kind of close in time like that. And Jeff has also said that mind-blowing skins and what he thinks is a diva skin that will break the internet will be included in that. So definitely stuff to look forward to along with that new potentially game-changing feature. And it's kind of weird to have these events be so close together. But yeah, this time of year is always a bit ridiculous in terms of Overwatch news. Moving on though, more closer in time, we have the PTR and the PTR patch that's currently on there, of course, including Havana as a playable PvP map, the escort map that we've showed off. And we'll probably see that map actually added potentially even next week on Tuesday, because then it's been live on the PTR for about two weeks. So if it's then added to live and then just tested in, of course, normal quick play and in arcade or whatever else it may be, and then give it another week or two until that map is in competitive play. But that time frame seems to make sense, and it, again, is not very far away at all. That also lines up with potentially adding that map to competitive play around the same time as the anniversary event would go live which is something we have seen before with overwatch patches speaking of competitive play as well the current season season 15 is ending soon in about seven days or so i believe judging from blizzard's behavior the last couple seasons or so the next one should start almost right away if not right away after this current one so season 16 we don't know loads about we can just kind of safely assume that there's not going to be too many bigger changes but we do have the PTR that has the icons and sprays on there so as you can see right here we've got the different icons for the next season so the rewards for the next season and the sprays and it's all kind of oasis themed this time around I had a little bit hard time to tell at first but yes yeah, definitely oasis you got the gardens map as the spray so yeah you got that to look forward to come play next season shouldn't really differ too much from what it's like right now there's just been quite a lot of different changes that have gone through and of course Baptiste been added not too long ago as well the meta seems to be fairly well rounded i've definitely had a lot of fun playing on that plat account that i mentioned that's actually almost diamond now there's definitely not a lot of people that want to play tanks and plat i've noticed so i've had to play a little bit more hammond and Arisa than i've been wanting to but still hammond anna and baptiste have been a lot of fun so i'm gonna keep doing that moving on though from all the sort of news in the next month or so we have actually a mention from Jeff Kaplan. This was highlighted not too long ago, but was mentioned, I believe, last week on a live stream. Someone posted this clip to r slash Overwatch from a live stream where Jeff is basically talking about Sojourn, the potential hero, or well, actually a hero, but not Hero 31, featured in the latest Storm Rising mission and also in a few different places here and there. Sojourn's actually been in development since 2014 or 2015, as Jeff talks about in that clip. Like, so Sojourn's a good example. I think Sojourn... We started development on her in, I want to say 2015. Oh. It might have even been 2014. Oh, whoa. So, um, Is that normal these, for most heroes in the game? Um, not all heroes. Some heroes um, are newish. Like, Orisa was very new when we sort of released her and came up with her. Ana had been around for, for a while. Sojourn has been around, I, I want to say 2015 or 2014. Wow. Um, Wow, As you crazy. know, Doomfist was like in the announcement cinematic, so it depends on the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but some of so I assume it's a character that they've been wanting to try and figure out what their kit should actually be like, but they've had a lot of other heroes over time that they've been wanting to put in instead. But she's been a key character that you've actually seen before here and there in Overwatch. I'll try to put some things on screen to see where you've seen her throughout the lore. But yeah, Sojourn is not Hero 31, maybe Hero 32 or not too long in time this year. Since it's a character we already know a little bit about, and we know where they are sort of at in the universe and that they're a somewhat important figure, might be getting that even at BlizzCon. Who knows? But yeah, that's about it for the main Overwatch news. I wanted to also include this. The latest WoW update features a new area called Mechagon Island, I believe. And in there, there's actually two NPCs that you can find called Roadtrog and Junk Brat. And they were in this sort of city and it's kind of Junker-esque, sort of Junker-like. So it makes sense that they would have some type of reference in there. Roadrog kind of has like a Roadhog style gas mask as well. And Junkrat definitely looks a little bit like Junkrat. There's been other Overwatch references in WoW previously. There was a Brawler's Guild from a while back and I think the fights were even called Ogre Watch. And there's been some other things like that. But yeah, I wanted to highlight that just because I thought it was pretty interesting. That is all for this video though, this quick news roundup. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.